basically just my own catwalk. My lane is my catwalk. Good, feel good, do good. That all relates to the mental aspect, the emotional aspect, and ultimately the physical. She is, without a doubt, ready to run towards the 100-meter Olympic gold in Paris. And so, the Olympic debutante will travel to Paris with visions of gold medals dancing in her head. Now the question is, will she be able to achieve that dream? She will have a chance to, but the 24-year-old American sprinter will have to beat the likes of Jamaican champions Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson in order to bring her goal to fruition. All three of them plan to chase Florence Griffith Joyner's world record of 10.49 in the women's 100 meter. Shakari, who possesses the same flair for fashion and is as talented as the late American sprint star, is a favorite in the event. As a matter of fact, the fastest woman in the world this year, Shakari appeared on the August cover of Vogue magazine, looking as confident as ever. With a gold dress billowing out behind her, her gaze almost seems as if she is daring the reader to even think she won't win gold at the Olympic Games Paris 2024. Her statement, I'm not back, I'm better, is alongside her on the cover, because she is. In fact, she shared how she feels like she's coming to her own, both on and off the track. I'm better at being Shakari, she said. I'm better at being myself. As you all know, she had to go through so much to where she is now, days away from her first Olympic Games. She almost had her Olympic debut in 2021, but because of some very bad decisions, let's leave it at that. The pressure this time is at an all-time high, like sky high. But the way she improved from that experience, which brought her to today, makes you think that she can handle the pressure. Nine-time Olympic gold medalist Carl Lewis, now a Texas-based coach who won titles in 100-meter sprint, 4x100-meter relay, and long jump from Los Angeles 1984 to Atlanta 1996, has seen the changes himself. During the UK Athletics Championships and Olympic trials in June, he said, Last year, she looked to me like she'd settled in, a little bit older, more mature, and understands herself better, and it's really nice to see the evolution as a person, and how she presents herself and the energy, and I think that's why she's winning. He also pointed out how he noticed that the American track star is more focused. I don't think there's anyone faster than her, he added. I mean, if she runs her race, no one is going to beat her right now. Well, Shakari has proven at the US Olympic trials, which was the stepping stone to Paris, that no one can beat her. In fact, from start to finish, she dominated the track. She ran a 10.88 to finish first in the opening round of the event. Final heat of the women's 100, not the best start from Shakari Richardson, but it doesn't matter as she starts to wind up Tamara Davis on the inside, but Shakari looks over 10.88. Honestly, she did not have the greatest of starts, but she isn't Shakari if she didn't know how to rise above challenges. Despite the hiccup, she managed to recover and win her heat, not to mention posting the top overall time. In the semifinals, she had another subpar start, but quickly closed the gap between 50 and 75 meters to pull ahead of the other sprinters. To no one's surprise, she won her semifinal heat with a time of 10.86 seconds. Here we go, women's 100 semifinal. It was a really strong start on the inside from Tamari Davis. Davis and Shakari Richardson. Shakari's got it under control. Straight through to the final. She says, how about that? 1086, will get it done. And here's the clincher. Shakari claimed the 100 meter title at the 2024 US Olympic team trials after clocking a world lead time of 10.71 for the victory. Let's see who's going to Paris. It wasn't the best start from Shakari Richardson. Tamari Davis got out better. Now Shakari starts to wind up as she goes past Jefferson. Shakari Richardson, 10.70. A few seconds after her line crossing celebration, she was down on a knee, clearly caught up in emotion. As soon as she knew she'd done it, she put her hands to her chest and appeared to be near tears. Her emotion is understandable, since crossing the finish line first was the moment Richardson had waited three years for, the moment so many young athletes dream of when they find their sport and decide to passionately pursue it. Making it to the Olympics is undoubtedly special for everyone, 
as it is the culmination of years of practice and sacrifice. But it is even more special to qualify for the U.S. track and field team, the hardest to make in the world. It is not any different for Shakari, if not more. When asked about what the secret is to running fast, she said, Just keep showing up no matter what. Most people, they only think of track every four years. The Olympics, that's all there is, those few seconds on TV. But for me, track is my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything I do, what I eat, what I drink, if I stay up too late, it's all reflected on the track. Every choice, that's what the world doesn't see. And as you all know, the world sees a lot. For her part, Shakari has seen both sides of the limelight. I'm not worried about the world anymore. I've seen the world be my friend. I've seen the world turn on me, she had said after qualifying for the 100-meter semifinals at the 2023 World Athletics Championships. Well, there is a reason Shakari Richardson is one of the most decorated athletes in the world. Qualifying for the Olympics might seem like a routine that comes once in four years for some, but it is not the same for Shakari. Having made an intense mental connection with track and field by now, she turns up daily to grind under the sun. The U.S. sprinter goes for practice every day at the Montverde Academy of Florida, much to the surprise of her training partners. When asked about why she is so dedicated to running, even when the Olympics are not around, her reply came as an eye-opener. She puts emphasis on the art of being present, simply showing up. She recalled that at one point, she seemed to be running a bit late for her practice once. When asked, her teammates informed her that the U.S. sprinter had an appointment with a dentist. While most athletes would have skipped the day, Richardson showed up, and immediately after a light warm-up, she got set on her mark and started her sprinting practice. Well, it is this exact grit and determination that has made Shakari Richardson a front-runner to clinch gold at the Paris Olympics. One of the things, or people, that propels her forward is her family. In fact, when she talks about her family, she goes a mile a minute, as if that's how she expresses love, through speed. As she was raised by her grandmother, Betty Harp, whom she refers to as Big Mama, it was also her Shakari credits with making me the person I am. The love between them is quite obvious. Case in point, when she won at the US trials, her mama, Betty Harp, was seen breaking down in tears. Talking about her grandmother, the U.S. sprinter commented, I owe her my life. She further emphasized how her family helped and supported her in her times of distress. She said, I'm highly grateful for them. Without them, there would be no me. Without my grandmother, there would be no Shakari Richardson. Betty, for her part, is proud of what a beautiful person Shakari has grown up to be. Shaq Harry's tough, I made her tough, Betty told Vogue. I'm a strong woman, I've overcome obstacles in my life. So I knew what I was talking about when, from time to time, things got hard and she'd want to quit. I'd say, don't start anything that you won't finish. You start, you finish. Hopefully, she will finish well in Paris. Wondering who will be with her on the plane, bound for the France capital? Watch this.